deserves a loving family. But the idea is simply a dream for hundreds of orphans right here in the tri-state. A local event called No Longer Alone is helping those kids get adopted. And here to tell us more is Scott Rosno from the Shepherd's Crook Orphan Ministry. Now, before we talk about that, I have to give your credentials, so to speak. Okay. You and your wife started Shepherd's Crook. Right. Uh, and I think it's a wonderful thing that you did that. But it, you did that in part because you have now adopted how many children? We have adopted 14. Um, and we're in the process of adopting two more. So that'll bring it up to 16 plus four of our own uh, biological kids. So yeah. It takes a very special person to do that, doesn't it? I don't know. I, I think it takes somebody that feels that they're called or that this is what they should be doing, but it doesn't take a Superman or any, anybody particularly special to do it, I don't think. I don't know. The people that I know who know you think you're pretty special, <laughs> you and your wife. So you started this ministry, Shepherd's Crook, and so tell me why. Because Was it because you were adopting, you saw this need? Yeah, as we went into uh, orphanages in these other countries where, when we were adopting, we saw the tremendous number of kids firsthand. It, it's one thing to read the numbers on paper, but to go into the orphanages and recognize that this is one orphanage in one city, in one country, and wow. you, you do the math and you realize, first of all, the amount of impact we could have personally is small, and secondly, that uh, we need to get other people doing this as well. So what is going on Friday? I know um, Larry Hanley is going to emcee the event for you, yeah. but what, what is it and how can people get involved? We're calling it an orphan awareness event. Um, we're trying to get the word out a little more about the tremendous need for kids to be adopted and also the ways people can be involved, even if adoption isn't for them. There are a lot of other ways to get involved in orphan care and we're trying to to at least locally get that word out a little bit better. What do you think that people fail to realize when it comes to adoption? When they start thinking of, about adoption or even just the concept of it, what don't we get? Well, a lot of people think that they could never love an adopted child like one of their own, so to speak. And um, that simply isn't true. Um, when you go through the process of adopting and you bring that child into your home, um, it's not instant, but you do come to love that child just as if you had given birth yourself. Um, and another thing is, um, as I said earlier, it doesn't take a superhuman to adopt. It just takes somebody that cares. Well, you care an awful lot, which is a tremendous thing for not just yourself and your children, but for the greater community. Um, so tell us again, Friday, what time, where, how can people get involved? By, can they just anyone go? Yeah, and it's open to anyone. Um, the it's being held at the Savannah Center in Westchester. It starts at 6. It will be over by 9. Um, and if you want more information, just go to the website that we've set up for it. It's saynolonger.org. Saynolonger.org. Right. And we'll work on putting that on WCPO. Dot com as well so you can find it easier if you need to if you didn't have a pencil there um, Scott it's a pleasure to get to know you thanks, thanks. I think you're you're an amazing guy you <laughs> and your wife so oh, I can't imagine the laundry trust me <laughs> well,